Hey gun peeps, welcome back to Snail TV. Uh, sorry about I haven't been updating the last couple of weeks. Uh, just been flat out at the moment with the painting side of uh, the Supra. Uh, you guys know that, um, yeah, I've uh, recently purchased, purchased the Supra and yeah, I just want to smash it out. I need to get it done. I need to just, yeah, I've got a few mates cars and whatnot here. Um, I'm slowly working on here and there, but um, yeah, it's hard bringing them in here all the time just because it's just this place is so dusty. So uh, even with the booth on, I'm just getting the dust out. <clears throat> There's just so much sanding. The whole car's getting blocked back. Uh, I really want it to look really, really nice. And um, it's come up absolutely amazing so far, which is awesome. <clears throat> so yeah, it's gonna look really, really nice. Um, I'll take you a quick look around, guys. But yeah, sorry about that I haven't um, been posting. Uh, I'll, I'll yeah very soon start doing it. I've ordered a few more parts for the Supra as well for the 2J. Um, you guys know that I've got the go kart happening very very soon. Well, it is happening, but I'll be bringing it here very very soon. Um, I just need to knock out the painting side of this, guys, um, just so the dust disappears. I can't have the dust here while I'm building. Um, yeah, the other like another cart and all that sort of stuff. So. I'll turn you around, have a quick little peek guys, I'll see how you go. Um, so yeah, the whole car's been blocked back um, and um, ready for another high fill, almost or almost ready for another high fill and then um, yeah, off to paint. So that's what we're up to. So yeah, um, have a quick little look ski, eh? Let's have a look. All right guys, so there we go. So everything, um, yeah, we've still got a little bit more sanding and whatnot and um, Applied a couple of little tiny bits of bog here and there. Um, car is relatively straight. Uh, the only little bits is it's had a tiny bit of hail damage. Not much, but a tiny bit. So the whole bit of it, the bonnet was absolutely gone as. That's all been um, high field and uh, all so far so good. Needs to get another high field guys. And then um, rugged back and painted this one as well. The hatch, um, you can see the extensive work on it, guys. All right, so everything's looking really, really nice. Um, I'll get back to the engine bay soon. Um, for now, it's all paddles, all go. Um, it's looking really, really nice. So I've got rid of a few things, guys. There was a um, a small line like going through about there and I've gotten rid of that and also on the rear um, there was a uh, right here I think it was a join line and I did not like that either so I've gotten rid of a few things uh, things are looking really really nice so I'm real happy with it so far a bit more sanding guys so don't worry about anything you can see there but so far Things are looking really, really nice. Um, door jams are all looking pretty sweet. This one here, I've got to adjust the front guard a bit, but this one over here, if you didn't see, um, yeah, the actual door jams are absolutely superb. So you can see the the booster and the Civic all on the cover because this place is just an absolute mess. All right, this is where the extensive work is happening, guys. Uh, the full bar is, um, yeah, this thing here was pretty much goners, but I've actually managed to save it, which is good. So I've done a bit of fiberglassing. It's actually one bar now. It was about three pieces before. Um, so don't worry about the bog. That's all gonna get sanded all nice and smooth. Um, just little bits and pieces uh, just to make it look nice. But yeah, uh, it was snapped in like about five, six different spots. So really, really happy with it so far. So yeah, so the Supra is all full go ahead guys. Um, yeah, shouldn't be long. You guys gotta realize I've only had this thing for probably about, I don't know, two, three weeks, about three weeks now. Um, and um, yeah, already look at it. So for that first week, I actually didn't even touch it. Uh, it wasn't until that first video there. Um, and yeah, so everything's all full go ahead. So this is what I've been doing. Um, I have been working flat out guys on um, a few mates, uh, cars slash boats slash project cars slash everything. Um, been doing absolutely everything. Uh, just helping mates out. Also, you know, a bit of um, 
a bit of money coming in as well, which is also a good thing just to get these sort of things happening uh, for later on. But I'm really, really happy. Um, yeah, so far, guys, the workshop's been really, really good to me. Um, things have been happening. Um, slowly been getting little bits and pieces happening here and there. And um, But also, as I did say, I'm just trying to knock this thing out of the park. Um, so yeah, once this thing's done, guys, just into the paint, next couple of weeks or so, uh, content is getting smashed out, um, of course. And um, yeah, and everything else is all go ahead. So parts have been getting ordered, so I've got bits and pieces happening um, and coming in. Uh, I'll let you guys on updates on those. But I thought I'll just give you guys a big update of the Supra, of how that's looking. Um, I did say I am going white on this thing. Okay, so the 040 white. That's the standard Supra white there. Um, yeah, just clear over base, of course. But um, yeah, it's just a solid color. I'm not going to do any pearls or any glitter or anything like that. I just want it factory color. So I want it to match the code on um, the factory VIN and um, everything like that. So really happy, guys. I hope you guys are liking. I just want to give you an update of this. And um, yeah, all looking pretty sweet. So yeah, it's um, going to be very, very straight after it's done. Um, the wide body is actually growing on me. And um, because I've just made, you know, those little few little changes and we're getting things straight, uh, just little things like the, um, the fuel cap there, trying to get it a little bit straighter of what it was. They did sort of do a bit of a rough job of getting it all together. So the body work, it wasn't 100%. But um, as I did say, it had a couple little tiny um, hail damage. Uh, not much at all though, guys. It was only a little couple of dots here and there, but that's all been fixed up. And um, yeah, you can see the extensive. So the whole car has been blocked back. Um, it's got little tiny bits and pieces where the block doesn't fit. And um, yeah, really, really happy with it. So I just can't wait to get stuck into the engine bay and um, yeah, start doing the engine wise. So. But the car's got to look good first, and uh, it's just what it is, so. Hi right, guys, as I said, this is just an update. Uh, sorry about, uh, I haven't been uploading, but things have changed very, very soon. Um, keep the comments coming though, guys. Keep the, you know, shares, whatever you guys can do, help me out. I really, really appreciate everything um, you do for me. But um, yeah, in the meanwhile, guys, I'm just getting this thing done, just behind the scenes. Um, and uh, I'll give you guys an update. If you guys want, more stuff when I'm working on customers' cars or mates' cars or something like that. If you guys want that sort of content, let me know. Um, it is also good content, but I've just been getting these things done. Um, I've only got several hours after work to get these things done, and um, filming's not my very, very first thing on my mind because I need to get things done. Um, also, you know, look after my son as well. Uh, but uh, yeah, we're getting this thing knocked out. Uh, also, thanks very much to Jamie from Raceworks for coming out. Um, he came out, he had a quick look at the shop as well. Uh, appreciate him for coming out. Um, we're going to organise something about um, getting the banner and whatnot. I was going to go down to the showgrounds uh, pavilion to get a, a banner, but on the weekend, I just got absolutely bombarded with mate stuff and uh, my own stuff and just, yeah, just trying to have time for myself. So. Um, I've got to get one anyway, so Raceworks um, are helping me out um, in those sort of things as well, so that's a good thing. Um, he's keen to just, uh, yeah, help me out where he can, so thanks very much guys, I really, really appreciate it. I just went through a few of the projects and also a couple other things as well, what's happening um, and everything you guys know, I've always used Raceworks on um, all my projects. But um, yeah, it's good to also get a, um, a little bit of help out from them as well. So I really, really appreciate that, mate. Um, and uh, yeah, hopefully I will have a, a banner of yours up very, very soon. But for now, guys, um, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Um, yeah, people are still watching things, so it's good. Um, I've got, I do have big, big things happening, guys. Um, just trying to make the time. I work hard, so I believe in people that work hard, things come to those people as well. So anyway, I'll let you guys go. I'll speak to you all soon, and uh, let me know what you guys think of the Supra so far. Um, if it's white, uh, the good color for it, do you guys agree with me? Um, the way I'm looking at it, um, being the same number, the code on uh, the VIN. 
Um, I, you know, you just guys know that I do love black, but I think that's going to be the best for it. But thanks very much, guys. I'll talk to you guys soon. I'll keep you guys updated on this thing um, and if anything else happens. But let me know if you guys want to see anything else, as I did say about mates' cars and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. See you, peeps.